Welcome back, everybody. So it's going to play through Restoration 6 to Divine Force and Universe Difficulty. We're on part number 40. Let's just keep going. We've got a lot of these things to kill. Midas, just can you do something decent, please? So we've got red there. Where is the thing? It's there. Okay. Sweet. Resurrection unit is ominous. Didn't hit it. Don't let me down. No. It's going to reload here. So heal up, Paul. All right. I'll take the big boys out. Initiating Seriously.
Wow. Really? Literally just getting pummeled. Luckily, I've got the big boys out of the way. Jesus Christ. Let's drop a save there. I'm not doing that again. Again, this is where I need better armor and stuff. I just don't have it. This is where I think item crafting I do need to do more of, but it's just finding that balance. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about this stuff. Where will this though? Oh, I've got another one of them. I'm not fighting that. Fuck that. Um, right, let's just go. What is this? The integration processing plant. Those you see here are in the very midst of integrating with Scorpion. Please don't tell me they will all be centralists. If the principles of Scorpion are existent, the choice to be a centralist or not will be left up to each individual. Therefore, it is impossible to determine whether those in the midst of integration will be friend or foe. Yeah, great. Look at the scale of this operation. So, uh, is this particular integration plant special or something? Or are all of them this big? Out of all the many plants, this one boasts the largest Cybermind integration capabilities. Cybermind integration? Cyberint gives me the creeps. 
Although standard integration, like my own, requires the consent of the organic life form, it will still be joining in a subordinate role to the core cybernetic life form. This is the main reason why integration with Scorpion is often perceived as invasion. The wills of both the organic life form and Scorpion persist in a state of coexistence. The cybernetic and organic life forms merge anatomically and become dependent upon the body for self-subjectivity. The integrated being can then connect the electrical signals of its own brain directly to the network. This is in contrast to cybermind integration, in which the organic life form is the core and subjectivity is not dependent on the body. Subjectivity is not dependent on the body? So it would be similar to me diving into cyberspace and inserting my own identity program into a computer I had hacked. Similar, but not the same. In the situation you describe, the subjective data you produce is being linked to a limited body located in the physical world. The subjectivity of an individual post-cybermind integration exists within Scorpion Network. It connects and merges with the entire network while maintaining its subjectivity and sense of self. The only situation where an individual requires a physical body is when it wishes to interact with the material world. By its very nature, Cybermind integration incites new evolution within the network. But would that not require the brain functions of the organic life form to be converted in their entirety? There is no cause for concern. Even standard integration like that of JJ can be said to apply a certain level of cybermind integration in the way it allows connection to the network. Conducting cybermind integration generally requires that the individual have already undergone standard integration. As such, the progression to a complete and full state of digitalization is not an overly taxing procedure for the individual. I can't follow any of this at all. What is this, this digitalization, really? Mm, how can I explain this? It's sort of like turning the inside of your mind into a machine and replicating your soul there, I guess. I'm not sure how it works either. But that's... But why go so far? From our perspective, that person would no longer be human. But the soul remains the same. And by retaining that sense of self within Scorpion Network, only then can one say they have achieved cybermind integration. Uh, what would Captain Bennett want with a place that's capable of all this? Well, looks like we'll just have to go ask the Astoria crew directly, won't we? Yes. Right, finally, I use physical stimulant on ourselves here, and might as well use another one on Midas. I got you. right on time. Anything else here? Nope. Uh, right, after all of that explanation. Let's go. Or... We're moving into the deepest levels. Not even I could tell you what we might find from here on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Boss fight. What we're going to find. The captain. Captain Bennett. There you are, Mariel. I knew you'd come. 
Hostile fused Scorpion unit has been detected. What? That man has completed integration. Stay on guard. No. Oh, what? But when? When did you integrate with Scorpium? A life changing 15 years back. Uh, that long ago? Yes, though time has flown by. What happened here on Parapium today will forever change the fate of the Scorpion and the Pan Galactic Federation. What are you talking about? The only thing that you've accomplished is hurting so many people! I doubt it's anything a little girl from an undeveloped planet would understand. But I'll fill you in. Today, our Sovereign has obtained a tremendous power. One that will alter the course of history for all of Scorpion. I am beyond proud to have been party to its acquisition. You speak of the fate of the Federation. Don't tell me you're seriously planning to strike at the Federation alongside the Centralists. Just like you did with Captain Curtis and the Bella Gulf. <laughs> you fail to understand the thing. Curtis is the one who turned his back on the Federation. Now most of the Pangalactic Federation forces serve under our Sovereign. You might even say the Federation is the Centralist Scorpion. We will wield the military might of our Sovereign and the Scorpion to expand our such is the path to glory for the Federation, for all life in the galaxy. Excellent. I normally don't give a shit about the Federation. I'll be damned if you think I'm gonna let you guys run a month. Uh need to press sage mean already. Holy moly. Safe here, it was a little bit closer. So I've got a funny feeling we might be doing this one a couple of times. Hang back, you see I got any this. more crap in my ears. What? I normally don't give a shit about the Federation. I'll be damned if you think I'm gonna let you guys run amok and trample over other people's lives. As a Bergaldian, no way I'm gonna let any of that happen. How dare a hooligan! Right, for Sage. Some backwater planet mock the will of our sovereign. Prostrate yourselves before the power His Excellency has bestowed. Got vatting up, by the way. Wow. Okay. I hang back and dodge while he's spinning. I'm 
normally don't give a shit about the Federation. I'll be damned. Let's get a fresh stage up here. If you think I'm gonna let you guys run amok. What have we got? And trample over other people's lives. Because of Bergaldian, no way I'm gonna let any of that happen. How dare a hooligan. Alright, let's... Like a real infomercial scuzz ball. Consider this payback for what you did to the Edis. Hmm. Okay. One more attempt, and then we'll cut to the winning one. Got to try and take out some of his arms, I think. Exercise caution. More crap in my ears. I'm gonna need a plunger. Great. I normally don't give a shit about the Federation. I'll be damned if you think I'm gonna let you guys run amok and trample over other people's lives. As a Bergaldian. No way I'm gonna let any of that happen. Okay, I'll see you for the winning attempt. Jesus. Scuzzball. Consider this payback for what you did to the Edis. You have to eat me for this. Crap in my ears. I normally don't give a shit about the Federation. I'll be damned if you think I'm gonna let you go and trample over other people's lives. As if I'm going, no way I'm gonna let any of that happen. How dare I do this from some backwater yeah, fresh sage up. I've got a better defense item on. These mates lithium crystal for it. Literally, there we go. Back to the wall. 
Him. Let's get Nina up here. literally can't even hack me yeah so it's beef my defense just wasn't good enough there's the park gone there's a rainbow diamond as well fresh sage for nina here in here. Yeah. So much easier once we've got this defense. I'll show you the equipment in a minute. Well, I use my, um, let's say, a Hellothean crystal for it. And then fuse some stuff onto it. That was tough. information was lost no isn't there anything we can do the central information system of this facility may be able to conduct a search the probability is high though a centralist he was still scorpion authentication successful we shall now search for and acquire the necessary data this will require some time. Is there anything I can do to help? You? As this system is incompatible with Virgoldian Android specifications, we recommend instead that you assist using the touch interface. Understood. Acquired. 
We have established that the unit bearing the concept of Sovereign is a top-ranking officer at Pan-Galactic Federation Fleet Headquarters. The previously unthinkable concept of a Scorpion leader first emerged 15 years ago. This aligns with the time Bennett was integrated. A high-ranking officer? Who the hell could it be? This is Ray. Ant, what's going on? Shit's hit the fan, Ray. You need to get back to the Aldus now. We're going back home. The hell are you saying? We don't have time for that, right? A large fleet of Federation ships are on their way to Vergold as we speak. Huh? Vergoldian Interstellar has already deployed forces throughout the system to intercept them. Emergency evacuation orders have been issued to all ships in the area. This is a full-blown invasion. And Ray, the commander of the invading fleet, is Remington Kurtzman, the most bloodthirsty bastard in the Federation. What? How can they? Oh, sons! They didn't even make a declaration! Antonio, this is Elena. Did you just say Kurtzman? I did. Why? He is the one. Huh? When referenced against this data, it is irrefutable. Captain Bennett left for his post on Veer 15 years ago. His direct superior at that time was Remington Kurtzman, who is now commander of Fleet Headquarters. Incredible. Wait, there's no freaking way. With this much evidence, I'd say it's certain. I can't believe it. I want to say it isn't true, but... Commander Remington is the Sovereign. And Sovereign. Once you're ready to go, get back to the Aldous. We need to leave as soon as possible. Huh. Oh boy. Well, yeah, what a battle that was, man. That was tough. I ended up, say, using my um, crystal and got this. Um, what did we have on before? I think we had this on. But yeah, it's massive increase in defense. I'm seeing some people are still using riot gear. It's probably why they're dying. Well, they're not because they're not in my team. But yeah, that was a tough one. Um, I even went in and updated, uh, upgraded Duma just to try and work on the S3 shield. Um, but yeah, level one is not gonna. It's just not gonna cut it. Um, yeah, it's a proper reality check that was. Proper reality check. That was good. Enjoyed that battle. I'm um, going to save. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Really good stuff. It really does help me out. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. I need to do a death montage. Um, so yeah, normally a couple of times you just do a couple of get to know it. But yeah, that spinning around move um, was tough. And I got a couple of times I got in with his um, sort of minions. And then, you know, normally when the minions come, you go and take the minions out. And yeah, he would just spin around and then his missiles would come and I try and put the shield up um, and it seemed like it didn't absorb it like it did with the um, the worm that we had earlier in the playthrough everything I did I just couldn't um, get him to to go down so yeah tough spike um, and it just shows to me that I need to work on getting some better gear my tunes especially the ones that are in, in the, the, um, the team here um probably gonna keep mariel on she was doing some good work on that as well but uh, i'm gonna leave this here thank you very much i'll see you all in the next one